Hey everyone, in this video, I want to talk about using profiles with your browser. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this in Microsoft Edge, but a similar capability exists on many of the modern browsers today. The reason profiles are so powerful is if we think about our regular interaction with our browser. So I think, hey, I've got my browser. Now, as part of your browser, that's as part of a session. So you log into your machine, you might log into your machine as a Microsoft account, as a work account. And in my day-to-day -day interactions, I do a number of different things. In my browser, well, I have certain settings. I have, for example, my favorites. I have cookies. These cookies help me when I go to websites, have specific maybe state for that website, configuration for that website. So we have other things, extensions, for example. And then from that browser, we interact with lots and lots of different websites. And often today, there's a certain identity that is used with that website. And there are many different identity providers that different websites might be interacting with. Just as an example, this could be Microsoft accounts. It could be Azure Active Directory or work accounts. It could be Amazon accounts. There could be LinkedIn. There could be GitHub accounts. There's all these different types of accounts I might be using. And the reality is in my day-to-day -day life, well, maybe sometimes I have a work version of this account Sometimes maybe I have a personal version of that account. I have a home Azure AD account that I have for Office 365. I also have a work one. Even my wife, she has a home one, she has a PTA one, she has a school one. So it really carries on around many of these. I might have different Amazon accounts for personal shopping or work shopping. I might have different Google accounts for various different types of sites. And when I use those, it's actually not very pleasant if I'm trying to use multiple accounts from the same identity provider in my browser. I have to constantly log out and log in and re-enter credentials. And this is really where profiles come into this. With profiles, what it lets me do is, hey, well, I can have profile one, which is linked to a certain set of accounts. I can have a profile two, a profile three, and this carries on. And the idea here would be, well, hey, profile one, uh, maybe you're this work account. Profile two, will you use the personal account? Profile three, these different combinations of accounts for all my different profiles. And what that then means is, I can easily just switch between profiles and they also all have their own sets of settings and favorites and cookies and extensions. So these completely different configurations, but not having to log out and log into my machine, the same browser, I can have many, many different profiles. So many, many different sets of complete configurations and accounts that are linked to it. So then, hey, I can have one browser instance open with profile one, maybe that's my work profile. I can have a second browser instance open that's using profile two, hey, maybe that's my personal. I might have a third. Hey, maybe that's my lab environment where I have a lab Azure AD account or a lab Google account or whatever that might be. So they're completely separated from each other and it's really super simple to use. So if I was to jump over for a second, what we can see right here is, well, this is just, hey, my local machine and what I can see here, let's just jump over to this one here. So, hey, I've got Outlook open for Office. I've, I've got the Azure portal open as well. But if we go up here in the top right corner, we have this little picture. And if I click that, this is going to show me my current profile I'm using. I can see Sync is on. So it's currently synchronizing certain settings that I have. I have all these other profiles I've created as well that just by clicking, I jump over to that profile. 
And these profiles all have their own sets of favorites and toolbars and cookies. They're completely separate. So I have these fantastic separate configurations for the same browser. Now, if I was to jump back to my regular personal profile, one of the things we actually see is if we manage the profile settings, I'm actually signed in. Now you don't have to do this, but when I sign in, I can then sign in with a Microsoft account or my Azure AD IE work account. Well, then it's got some identity provider and a location in the cloud that I can optionally synchronize settings to. So here what it would let me do is because I'm signed in, hey, I've got synchronization on, I could change that, but I can say, well, which of the sets of configurations for this profile do I wanna sync up? So then if I use this same sign-in on multiple browser instances, maybe on different machines, hey, I'll get a consistent experience where I'm signed in as that user. But I don't have to. Here I can see all my other profiles I have. And there's different configurations I can have for my preferences, like automatic profile switching, allow single sign-on. And they're super easy to add. So what I'll do quickly is just jump over. So this is my demo VM. And I actually don't have other profiles on this machine right now. So if I was to do add a profile, hey, I want to add a new profile. It's gone ahead and just created this profile for me. And it's starting from scratch. So it's saying, hey, do you want to sign into sync data? Now this is optional. If I say, hey, yes, let's sign in, I could then type in a Microsoft account or an Azure AD account, so a work account, that it can use to synchronize and store the various settings. So now I'm signing in to this new profile, and now I can have that synchronization of various settings. I'm gonna have its own sets of themes. Hey, I'll just use the system default. I can go through that full configuration, but you'll see I have none of the other favorites or anything else. This is a completely new profile. I can go and select that. I can manage my profile settings up here. And here I could edit. So I could change the names. The company is just called Work2. Hey, I'll change this to clock. I could change the picture. So right now it grabbed the picture from the account that I selected to synchronize with. But maybe I didn't sign in. So right now it's taking me to, hey, because it's using a signed in account, it's gonna take me to that to change the picture. However, if I wasn't signed in with a profile, so let's go ahead and create another profile. This time we won't sign in with anything. We'll just start without data. Confirm. Pick a theme as usual. And what I can do now is notice I don't have any picture up here, but once again, I can go manage my profile settings. It's giving me the option to add an account, but I don't have to. I can just over here say, hey, manage my profile settings. And then from this, I can still do those various edits. So here if I do edit, now obviously any configurations I have are not gonna sync to other machines because this is just a, essentially a local profile. But I might change this to demo, and hey, I can pick a fun picture. Hey, I'll be a donut. So now I've created another profile with the little donut icon and I can jump between them. So we can see I've got my different profiles here, my work, my personal, and now I can see all of those profiles just available to me. And I can just select them and use them. It's a very, very pleasant and easy experience to actually leverage this. And I can, yes, open up just select one of these and it will instantly open up a new window. That's super easy to do. The other thing I can do is maybe I use this profile a lot. Well, notice it's got the icon in the taskbar. I can just right click and say pin to taskbar. So now it's pinned this. And you can see it's actually got the little donut icon on it. 
to my taskbar. So I just did pin to taskbar. If I close down my little donut instance, the icon is still there. If I run it, it automatically starts as that profile. So these profiles are really easy to create. They're easy to use. If I have this account and I'm gonna use it on different machines, synchronizing is good, so then I get consistent settings between them. The other way I can use other profiles, if I just go to a website, so I'm gonna to go to my Iron Man site for a second. Oh, and I think I typed it wrong. You can just right click on a link. So I'm gonna close that, not now. There we go. So if I right click on a link, one of the things you'll see here is the normal open in new tab, open in new window, but I can do an open link as. So here it will show me the other profiles I have available. So I don't even have to go and open up another instance of the browser. I can just right click on a link, say, hey, open it as this other profile. I know I want to go and perform this action as this other profile. And as we talked about, there are also settings from within here, I can configure things like automatic profile switching. Hey, if it detects a certain link is personal or work, it can prompt me, hey, do you want to switch? If I was to click a link from an email, for example, well, which profile do you want to use by default to go and open those links? So I can set, hey, most of the time, this is the profile I want to use, or hey, whichever browser profile I'm currently last used, it can go and use that one. So there's a whole set of different options I have. And what it's doing behind the scenes is under your user's app data folder, it creates profiles. I can see it's profile one, two, three, four. This is my local machine. If I was to just go and do this on my demo VM, so you can see me entering the full location. So if I was to jump over here and we'll do run, so this is the path, local app data, Microsoft Edge user data. So what it's doing is it just creates a folder for each profile. So I've got my profile one, my profile two. If you go and go into it, you'll even see things like the icon. Hey, there's my happy picture of me in the Edge profile, the profile picture, so that's my clock. So you can see the detail of what it's doing, you could even edit the icon if you really wanted to. You could go and change those. And so that, that's really it. So the whole point of these profiles is simply, I don't have to install multiple browsers so I can get different sets of configuration accounts I want to use. If I have different personas, hey, my work persona, my personal persona, my uh, PTA persona, my lab user one, my lab user two, I just create a profile for each of them. They have their complete own sets of configurations, including cookies, they have their own sets of identities, even from the same identity provider. It's completely seamless. I get a nice single sign-on among that profile for the different IDP. And it just really simplifies your life. So if you're not using profiles, definitely use them. They're really applicable to nearly everyone. Most of us now use our machines for both work and home, that whole, bleeding of the line between them. So this can make things so much simpler. So I hope that helped. Until next video, take care.